This is what's left after a home exploded here in Clinton, and unfortunately, two people are confirmed dead. Fire officials tell me you could hear the explosion for miles around town. I was uh, lived in Texas when the Challenger explosion, um, so I kind of likened it to that. Shattered glass, broken wood, small traces of what used to be a home. The explosion woke neighbors up Tuesday morning. My husband went in and there were some things on shelves and he said, yeah, the percussion knocked them off the shelf. At first, Helen didn't know what to make of the loud noise, but she knew it was serious when it shook her own house down the road. It's about a, a mile as the crow flies and to have that much of an effect on property here. Firefighters say some people around Clinton could hear the blast several miles from the property. Yes, there was uh, one that was pronounced at the scene and then one was transported to the hospital where they later passed away. The Clinton Fire Department says the house is a total loss, but because it was an explosion, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms is helping with the investigation. The ATF was involved to come out and see if there was an incendiary device that was used. Um, in the explosion. Now it's still not confirmed if that was the case, but we do know the state fire marshal and Oklahoma LP gas administration are working on the investigation too. All over the place there was chunks of the roof 15-20 feet from the house. The official cause of the explosion is still under investigation.